knows the hair dryer and the ball experiment, right? You just flick it up and then the ball starts floating. But do you know why it happens? It's because of the Bernoulli's principle. Here, there's a picture of it. The red stands for the fast air, and the green is the slow air. Take a look. So, fast air has less pressure, and the slow air has more pressure. Here, you, we see the ball being lifted by the hairdryer. But it's not just the hairdryer itself. Why would the ball go flying off to a different place? Like, when you tilt it, it doesn't just fall down, right? Well, it's because of the sides. In the sides, there is slow air. And as I said before, Slow air has a higher pressure. When you tilt it, slow air is keeping it up. Here, I've got two pieces of paper that I'm going to blow into in the middle. Do you think they will go out and go away? Or will they collide? You guess. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the experiment. Look, they collided. Why was this? Because the slow air on the outside has more pressure and moves everything to the middle. So, it got collided together. I built this paper aeroplane. This is the wing of the aeroplane. The paper aeroplane I built. The fast air is on the top, trying to push it down, right? But the slow air goes under the plane. The slow air would make higher pressure. And so, we can get this pen and stay it will move up. This is the Bernoulli's principle. Thanks for watching.